and he's about to pitch in a major league game. Ichiro is on the mound, loosening up. This is something that Ichiro has long lobbied his managers for in Japan and in Major League Baseball. He was after Lou Pinella for the longest time to let him pitch. When he got to New York, he pleaded with Joe Girardi, if you ever need someone, let me pitch. And here, on the last day of 2015, Ichiro, who was a fabulous pitcher as a high school player in Japan, is on the mound. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. This is something he has waited his entire career for. And he will face Odubel Herrera. And the first pitch pops out of the glove of Tomas Talis, 86 miles an hour from Ichiro. I get snuck up on Talis just now. In the 1996 Japanese All-Star Game, he pitched to a hitter. Herrera smokes one down the right field line. That's a hit. And into the corner it goes. Herrera on his way to second. And he's got himself a double. In that All-Star Game, Ichiro was going to pitch to a position player, but the opposing manager thought, you know what? I'm not happy with this. And so he put a pitcher up there to hit against Ichiro. <laughs> and Ichiro gets his welcome to pitching moment there with a loud double to right. <laughs> of course, you know, the, the other thing here is it's one thing for a position player to pitch. It's another thing for a guy who's about to turn 42 to do it. You know, I'm watching him. He actually looks like he's got a decent idea about what he's doing. Oh, no, Nobody in baseball throws more than Ichiro. So arm strength-wise, he's got it. And he's been waiting for this for a long time. I think he's getting squeezed a little bit right here. Got to check out Fox Track, see where that last pitch was. Center field, Ozuna back. The yard will hold it. Herrera tags. And Ozuna makes the catch. And his throw to third is a bit offline. Ichiro actually backing up third base. And you're right, he was getting squeezed. Yeah. Pitch, pitch two was a strike. Yeah, let's go back there. So Ichiro's got an out. Darnell Sweeney, the kid from Fort Lauderdale, will come up. Now, this is really cool. Look at all the Phillies. They're on the rail. They know this is historic. All the Marlins are on the rail. Infield in, Ichiro to Sweeney. Fastball, that's hit hard to right field and deep. And it's off the wall. It's going to score Herrera. And a double for Sweeney. This reminds me of uh, a long time ago. Jose Okendo played every position. I think it was on the last day of the season. And I believe it was with uh, St. Louis. He played every position in a nine-inning game. Now you're getting into the top of the order. Freddie Galvis. Ichiro is stuck with fastballs at this point. I'm not sure what else is in his arsenal. We don't have a scouting report on Ichiro as a pitcher. He gets a strike and it's 0-1. Even the bullpen is standing and watching. <laughs> they do have another reliever up. Ah, the breaking oh, ball. He dropped a deuce on him. Ichiro. <laughs> the count's 0-2. And Galvis looking back at the home plate umpire, D.J. Rayburn. That was one of those, wait a minute, what? What was that? 0-2. Oh, a change up? Come on now, Ichiro. <laughs> one and two. Ichiro has given up a couple doubles. He has a long fly ball out. Bouncer to second. Gordon has it. On to first, and there's two outs. Showing a little, little finesse right there. Went to the changeup, breaking ball. And more than anything, he's around the plate. Everything is right around the strike zone. Here is Eric Altair. He's topped out at 88. The off-speed pitch at 78. And here's Altair, who's had a big day. Three-run triple, RBI double. 
And Ichiro with a breaking ball that misses low. First pitch, breaking ball, just pulling out. He saw Altair go up there and get him a bases clear and triple last time. He knows how to stay away from it. Oh, gorgeous pitch. A strike, and it's one and one. Nice smooth delivery, snaps it off on him right at the bottom of the strike zone. One and two, that one fouled off. So Ichiro has a couple outs. He's given up a run here in the bottom of the eighth. Checks the runner at third. And Talese gets a piece of it, holding third is Sweeney. So something Ichiro's waited for for a long time. You know what, it's, it's nice to, uh, I mean, this is a reward. This is a reward for coming off the bench all year, being ready at a moment's notice, you know, and, and being so well liked. I like the fact that he's shaking Talese off. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, though, you got to, he, he has seen more at bats than Talese has ever. Breaking ball, fly ball down the left field line, and it ends up in the seats. I want so bad to see him end this inning on a strikeout. I really do. Three, two coming. Foul back. Can you imagine the stir right now in Japan for... 15 years with Ichiro in the major leagues. Every move has been covered. And right now, I'm sure the entire country is watching. To left field, shallow. Dietrich has it. And Ichiro Suzuki has pitched an inning in the major leagues. He gives up a run on two hits. Gets a nice curtain call from the Philly fans. And his teammates. <laughs> 15 years of waiting and lobbying. He finally gets to pitch. <laughs> and a great moment here in Philadelphia. I, I think he should have went to the soft stuff a little earlier. 7-2, Phyllis. Gets to tell everybody about it. And Chuck Hernandez, the pitching coach, is over. And, of course... He wants to debrief Ichiro <laughs> after his uh, Major League debut on the mound. <laughs> if there's any question about how much they like that guy, look at that. Look at that group of standing around there. <laughs> That's really, that is really something. And, and for a guy like Conley, who grew up in the state of Washington, watching Ichiro with Chuck, Jose, <laughs> Ichiro. What a day this has been. 